Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have my fall 2019 cause box. So cause box is a quarterly subscription box. You can pay quarterly or annually and you, it's a little bit cheaper if you pay annually. If you pay quarterly, it's $54.95 a quarter and if you pay annually, I believe it's $49.95 a quarter. And cause box, it's in the name. The whole deal with the company is that all of the products that they include in their boxes have some sort of significant charitable cause that they support cause hence the name cause so i joined last fall 2018 and i quickly i fell in love with it right away and i my feelings have kind of changed but i'm going to get into that a little bit more as i go through the box so this is it this is the outside of the box every quarter they get a new artist to do the artwork for the outside of the box which is interesting to me because it always looks like it's a similar style so they must have some sort of guidelines they give the artist and then inside it looks like this and it has that little magazine insert there we go and that has information on all the products that are included and what the charitable cause that the company is associated with is all about. So we're going to get into this. What is this now? This is $25 online store credit with known supply, which I am only just hearing about that company. I don't really know anything about it. I probably won't use this. Oh, there's a there's a code you can use at checkout. Here you go. Knock yourself out. If you see that code, try it out. See if it works for you. And then here's the pamphlet. I'm going to keep that close by to reference. And then it is wrapped in tissue paper like most boxes. So I'm just going to open that up. It does have this cute little sticker. I'm going to show you guys this. This cute little sticker on the tissue paper. So I fell in love with this box because... I, the fall 2018 box was actually a pretty good box and I was all about it being super tied to charities and all of that stuff. I'm not very eloquent right now, I feel. <laughs> Bear with me. And then the very next box that I got was the winter box and it was very disappointing for me and for a lot of people I think and then the spring box was just a little bit better and then I skipped this past summer box and then this box the fall box seems like it's pretty decent so I went ahead and got it I have canceled my subscription I have a couple more boxes that are coming I think that as and as I go through this stuff you'll see I think that what I'm figuring out is that it's not really so much that there's anything wrong with the company. They're not doing anything wrong. They're not, they're, they are shipping on time. Their website could use some work. And they did have their very first marketplace sale, which was the sale that happened concurrently with when you could customize your box. But I am realizing that I think there's just a style to cause box, a style of curation that doesn't really appeal to me so much. It's kind of like a boho chic. I don't even know if that's really a thing, but if, it, if it's not a thing, I'm sure you can imagine what I'm talking about. And I think that that's really more of why I haven't been into it. I don't know. There's not a whole lot wrong with the company. They're just, I'm really falling out of love with them. It's so sad. Okay, so this first thing is the big ticket item. This is a duffel bag and they say it retails for $108. So this duffel bag better blow me away. <laughs> it's a canvas duffel bag and I will show it to you and then I will tell you a little bit about it. They had it in three color options, which I all should also show you that. I chose the blue because I was thinking perhaps I could give it to my brother as a Christmas gift. So this is it. It's a smaller duffel. It's not all that big. It's definitely a little weekender one. I want to see if I can... It is well made. Let's see if I can show you how big it is. Oh, and then it has a little pocket right here on the outside. And a pocket on the inside. Oh, and this is the company, Known Supply, that this, no wonder I it, no wonder it sounded familiar. So that <laughs> this coupon goes to. So this, I like. I do like this. $108, I don't know about that. It comes with this little strap that you can attach and clip on. And let's read a little bit about it. So this is what the magazine looks like. 
Okay, so here are the three color options you should have gotten. You could have gotten, excuse me. So first I was gonna get this, which then I realized that was a little feminine and maybe I would want to have the option to give this to my brother, so I went with the blue. It says, an oversized duffel for everything from weekend away to weekends away <laughs> to trips to the gym, handmade by artisans in Jaipur, India. And I've noticed before that they've had some uh, some goods handmade by artisans in Jaipur, India. So they definitely have some strong links there, and that's great. India needs a lot of help with the economy, so that's wonderful. So this is a hundred and eight dollar value, and sometimes. I see retail values like that and I think, whoa, what the heck, how could that possibly cost $108? And then I think about the fact that a $20 duffel bag is probably made in really poor conditions in a sweatshop by a poor child who isn't paid enough and their family can barely eat. So when I think about paying $108 and that the workers are actually paid what they should be paid, I think that that could be a lot of the reason for the difference in the retail value and that is just fine with me. Okay, so the next thing, oh, I'm gonna, I, this is a Christmas gift. So this was another reason I was excited. My sister-in-law, she rarely wears makeup, but her daughter got into her makeup brushes and kind of ruined them essentially. She was asking me how to clean makeup brushes and I told her that there were some, you know, you could use like olive oil and Dawn or you could get, you could buy some. And then lo and behold, makeup brushes was an option in this box. So I will show them to you first. So it looks like this. And you can see, I don't know if you can see right there, the um, company's name is engraved, La, La, Bota, La Botasua, La Botasua, which might mean like the beautiful night in French. I don't know, I don't know French. Anyway, so this is a very nice, probably vegan leather case, and it's got these strings around it. Then it opens up. Ooh, I'm excited. This is gonna be kind of hard to part with. Look at this. So I'm gonna give these to her. And then I also bought her a blender cleanser um, on the Ulta 21 Days, and that's gonna be her Christmas present. So here, this is really, really pretty. I'm very, this is something that I am excited to give to her. So, looks like this. And these only retail for $24. I was actually surprised that they weren't worth more. That's gonna be hard to part with. These are really lovely. I'm gonna show you again. <laughs> so it has a whole bunch. Go ahead and pause your screen and take a look. The brushes are very soft. I didn't get anything in the marketplace sale. There was just nothing that appealed to me. And I'm also really, really well stocked. There were a couple of things that appealed to me. They had a hair mask that I had used that came in the fall 2018 box that I almost bought, but I just decided not to get it. So those makeup brushes, a 10 piece set of makeup brushes for every imaginable use and look. Every brush is made with vegan cruelty free bristles and packaged in a thoughtfully designed vegan leather clutch. $24 value. That's really, that's a really reasonable retail value. So the next thing, and I sprung, so you could either choose silver or gold, it's a necklace, and I am a silver wearer, but I want to try to get into gold, so I made myself choose gold, and it is a Lariat necklace, and let's get it out here. So it came, this is just like a little cardstock thing, and it is by that company, I can't read it. Nichelle, it's by Nichelle. So something that was really disappointing about the winter 2018, winter 2019, it falls, winter 2018 box was that there was a necklace in there that was, that I was so excited for and it was horrible quality. This is decent quality. I don't know what the materials are made of, but it doesn't feel like I can just bend it in half with my hands, which was what that necklace felt like. If I had gone like this and just pushed down on either side of my thumb, I would have been able to just bend the little disc on the end of the necklace in half. I was really, I upgraded to annual so I could select that ne necklace and it was just such poor quality. Anyway, so I was I was really grumpy in my spring unboxing too because I was so mad at the winter box. 
Anyway, so this is a custom for Cosbox take on the classic Y silhouette. This gorgeous lariat can be dressed up or down. For every product sold, Nichelle donates 10 meals to those in need. So it's that piece that made me just go nuts about the idea of being a longtime Cosbox subscriber. I'm gonna keep my eye on this company and it's quite possible that I will resubscribe in the future. They are new, they are figuring themselves out, their website does need work as I mentioned. And this is a $38 value. So let's go ahead, I'm wearing a sweatshirt so it doesn't really... So I think this is very nice. I am not disappointed in this. The quality is decent. So everyone got the makeup brushes. This necklace was just a choice between silver and gold. So between these two things. And then this next thing was a choice between this letter board. And then there was this. Well, I have it physically here. Then there was this. It's a passport holder but it's more than just a passport holder it's like a passport wallet which I am kind of excited about this I do get on planes probably about four or five times a year not very often where I need my passport but oh it's stuck at the bottom <laughs> how funny um, I get really irritated like fumbling my ID and my boarding pass and all of that. So the idea is something like this that you could take for traveling where you have that just in hand and you go up and you can just open it up and you have it all there and then once the guy hands it back to you, just throw it in here really quickly and then throw it back in your bag and then go through security because that's always really comfortable when you're trying to take your shoes off and your belt off and you got all these people waiting and you feel so much pressure. And then this is a seems like that might help in that moment. I don't know why I feel so much pressure going through security at the airport, but I, I have hopes that this might help. This is Glass & Ladder. It's the same company that made the, they called it like a clutch, but it was more like a laptop case in the spring box that I know some people actually specifically joined for that clutch. And then they realized that their laptops didn't fit because it only fit the newer MacBooks. So what does this say? An exclusive collaboration with this Australian artist, Christine Lubinsky, this terrazzo inspired travel wallet is the perfect gathering place for all of your travel essentials. It says this is a $108 value. Okay, that's another instance where it's like, hopefully that retail value is because the workers were paid really well. Because otherwise, I mean, it's, it's made in China. There's a little tag in here that says made in China. So I don't know about that. I have questions. Hopefully it will get some use. Uh, anyway, so the next thing is this Melon and Getz Recovery Treatment Oil, and it's this retail price is $82. So they kind of put the label like that. I don't know if you can really see that very well. I had I have never heard of this brand, and I'm already seeing people put this on the trade boards. Our fast absorbing treatment synthesizes a blend of nine antioxidant rich oils that nourish and hydrate to help address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Apply five to seven drops on clean skin. Ooh, it smells earthy and herbal and spa like, which is a smell that I describe a lot, and I really love those kinds of smells. You know, like. Not necessarily eucalyptus or peppermint, but those kinds of smells, herbal smells. So I do like the smell of it, so that's promising. I have a facial oil I'm working on, and then I have another one in line. So this actually may end up becoming a gift because I don't know how long it will last. I will have to see what the expiration is on that because oil can go rancid. Let's look at what the description is here. A multitasking treatment oil that provides hydration and helps skin feel softer, smoother, and brighter. Naturally composed of nine antioxidant-rich oils. It's vegan and cruelty-free. Doesn't say anything about them being particularly charitable, but they are vegan and cruelty-free, so that's that checks off some boxes. Okay, and then the last thing I have here, which could also be a really, really wonderful Christmas present. I'm not a candle burner. I just don't... I don't think to purchase them, I don't think to light them when I do have them, I'm just not a candle burner. It seems lovely, but it just never happens. It's kind of like tea. I often try to convince myself I'm going to become a tea drinker and it just doesn't happen. Okay, so this is La, La Luera. La, what's with all the friends? 
French La Luer White Cactus. Cactus flower coconut musk. Oh, musk, interesting. So let's take a look at it and then I'll read about it. It's the little guy. Whew. You know what that smells like? It smells like the bum bum cream. Holy smokes. It's nice, it's just a white all around container, it looks like that. So this is a fresh take on autumn. This candle was developed from sustainably sourced ingredients including a proprietary coconut wax blend. Every La Luer, La, a candle, is hand poured in the USA and packaged in a gorgeous reusable glass vessel. And that retails for $35. $35. You can get some really decent candles at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. But this is la this is a really beautiful high-end looking candle. So that's everything except they always include a little postcard. And this is something that I am choosing not to let irritate me anymore. It used to irritate me because they always price these at $10. $10. And then they include it in the retail value of the box. I'm just not even going to let myself think about it. $10. <laughs> They're not even, maybe they stopped. I remember filling out a survey where they asked what uh, we thought about the postcards. It asked what we do with them. And then it was like, send them, frame them, recycle them. And I always recycle them. I'm not going to do anything with this. But what is awesome is they are not listing it as something with a retail value anymore. So that's cool. I still don't think that it's a necessary inclusion in the box. I think that this could actually cut out some waste. I don't know. What do you think? Do you get Cosbox? Do you like this part about it? So that's everything. The total retail value for my box. The total retail value of my box was $393. I might be off by a dollar or two, but that's because the glass and ladder travel wallet was $108 and so was the duffel bag $108. That's that's a really high retail value. So I am I am very I am happy with this box. I do like it. I hope I like the next couple. And then like I said, I've canceled. I'm not getting any more after my subscription runs out. I hope that this was helpful and informative and helped you decide if you want to get Cause Box. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.